G'day, in today's video, I'm gonna compare the Samyang 85mm 1.4 with the Canon 85mm 1.4 image stabilized. Run you through the reasons why I ended up buying the Canon and selling my Samyang, given that there's such a big price difference. There's tons of example footage, so you can see for yourself and make a decision as to which way you might go. So let's get straight into it. The first thing you're gonna notice between the two lenses is there's three centimeters difference in height. The Semyang is about 13 centimeters with the hood. The Canon is about 16 centimeters with the hood. Then we move on to the weight. The Canon weighs just under a kilo as opposed to the Semyang, which weighs just over 500 grams. You will notice that difference after a full day of shooting. So here we have the kind of racking and sharpness test. To be fair, the printing on the little yellow juice, timber juice bottle is not crazily sharp. So don't read too much into that. Just think of the overall shape of the, uh, the bottle and the unicorn eye is kind of what we're looking at. I'll go through these examples and you can just see the subtle differences yourself. Overall though, both lenses give a cracking image for a 1.4 and it's really quite nice. The Semyang is actually noisier when it's focusing compared to the Canon one as well. So that's definitely a factor when using it and trying to be silent as well. So I've popped it into 2.8 for a couple of examples just to show you a little bit more length in the focus area there. So here we have our male model straight from the catwalk. We are just set in autofocus and I'm not necessarily standing in the exact same positions for these two tests between the, the Samyang and the Canon, but just have a look at the overall image. Look at the roll off of the focus, the highlights in the background there, and you can just get a good glimpse of how both lenses operate. If I'm being honest, if I could shoot all day long at 85mm 1.4 for every shoot I'd be totally stoked absolutely love just how soft everything is in the background and just the milky deliciousness that occurs such a good length now we move on to the handheld footage just showing the infinity focus and I think that trampoline would be probably five meters from me. With the image stabilization on, it really does take away that handshake and really does look quite nice. Very useful for video, but as well for the low shutter speed stills. So in this shot here, behind the bird, the sun's kind of coming through the clouds. And with the Samyang, you definitely notice the chromatic aberration coming through. The Canon does suffer from it a little bit, but definitely not as much. It's definitely windier for the Samyang test as well. So you can kind of, the bokeh looks a little bit different because of the winds peppering the trees there. So moving on to the stills test, this is a Canon, so that's 1.4, that's 2.8, 5.6, 9, and F16. The Canon also goes right up to F22. Now with this test here, we've now got the unicorn in focus, so 1.4, 2.8, 5.6, 9, 16 and 22. The Semyang only goes up to F16, so we've got 1.4, 2.8, 5.6, 9, 
9, 16, and now with the unicorn in focus. So 1.4, 2.8, 5.6, 4.8, 5.7, 9, 16. Now with this example, I'm just gonna do a little wipe over the top. You can see the positional change with the cannon and the focus difference. Because the cannon body is three centimeters different, I'm assuming that's where we get a little bit of variance in the framing. This was on a tripod that was locked off so the camera didn't move. Now, can you tell the difference? That one's the Canon one. Back to Samyang. So overall, I definitely think this Samyang 85mm 1.4 is a dynamite of a lens at its price point. But where I feel I got the extra value with the Canon for the extra money was definitely in the sharpness. There's less chromatic aberration and the IS is absolutely killer. So I could justify it for my work and I would really find value with it. So I hope you have a great week of shooting. Hope this helps someone out there and uh, we'll catch you soon. Cheers.